friends! Today we're going to learn two parashot, Behar and Bechukotai. Those are the last parashot of the book of Vayikra. So at the end of the lesson, we're going to say Chazak, Chazak v'nitchazek. That's what we say when we finish a book in the Torah. So we have more energy and more power to continue our studying. Hello, hello, hello! Can I help you teach parashat Behar and parashat Bechukotai? Of course, I'm so happy you're here, but you're a tree. How are you going to help me teach the kids Torah? Because Parashat Behar and Parashat Bechukotai are all about us, the plants, the land. Plants and the land, I thought the Torah was commandments and mitzvot for human beings. Well, what do you think? Don't we have rights? Uh, I'm a tree, and you should know that I have rights too, and, and the earth has rights too, and, and the Torah makes sure that you humans know that and don't take advantage of us. Really? The Torah takes care of the rights of the earth, of the trees, of the plants? Oh, yes, of course. You know, baby trees are, enti are entitled to keep their fruit. What, what do you mean? A tree less than three years old doesn't have to give you humans its fruit. And on the fourth year, all the fruit that grew goes only to God, not to you humans that think that we belong to you. Really? Yes, you can take our fruit only from the fifth year and on. Before that, leave us alone. Oh, okay. What else does the Torah teach? Well, the Torah teaches that you can't take everything for yourselves. We have the rights to give our fruit to poor people that don't have enough. You can't take everything from your field. It's not only yours. You have to let us give our fruit to other people too. People that don't have. And that's why the Torah teaches about Shnat Shemitah. Shnat Shemitah? Yes. Every seventh year, there's one year a whole year <laughs> when we are on vacation. What? Yeah, it's a sabbatical year for us and all trees and the earth and the, and the land. What, what do you mean a sabbatical for the land? You humans can't uh, reap and sow and plant new things and our fruit belongs to everyone who wants it. But what do you mean? If you're my tree, your tree, uh, yeah. If, if I'm your tree, well, if, if you're my tree that I planted in, in my yard, what do you mean? People can come into my yard and take your fruit? I mean, my, my fruit? Well, on the seventh year, they're not yours. They belong to everyone. And yes, people can go into your field and take as much fruit as they like. Wow, I didn't know trees have rights, uh, that the land has rights. Yeah, and every seven times seven years, every seven years of sabbatical, like every six years there's one sabbatical, and then I count another set of six years and then another sabbatical, and then another six years and then another sabbatical, like that for seven times, yeah, 49 years, exactly. And on the 50th year, it's the year of Jubilee, the year of the Yovel. Yovel? What happens on the year of the Yovel? Well, the year of the Yovel teaches human beings a very important lesson. If you bought a piece of land, it's not yours forever. You cannot own us forever. What, what, do you, what, what happens on the 50th year? It goes back to the original owner. God decides who the land belongs to. The land belongs to him, and he decides who he wants to give it to. And you have those weird customs called slavery. Well, on the 50th year, everyone goes free. Everyone is free on the 50th year. Really? Wow, so, so there's no slavery in the world, really? Because everyone goes free on the 50th year, and land goes back. Um, to its original ancestral owner. So like nothing is permanently ours really in this world. Exactly, nothing is permanently yours in this world. Oh, she got it, thank God. Well, anyway, 
have a great Shabbos, and I'm so happy I got a chance to teach you guys something. Wait a second, we only learned one Parsha. We have another Parsha to learn. What about Bechukotai? Ah. You want me to teach you Bechukotai? No problem. Are you sure you want to hear what it says in there? Uh, I, am I sure I want to hear what it says in Bechukotai? In Bechukotai it says, If you keep God's commandments, no problem. We'll be good to you. We'll give you our fruit, and then we'll be fruitful, and the land will have uh, lots of weed and barley for you to eat. If you do not let us have our sabbatical. God will just kick you out of here and you'll you'll wander in other lands so you don't bother us and that way we get all the sabbaticals we missed. So you better watch out and give us our sabbaticals. What? If we if we don't keep Shemitah, what we'll have to leave the land so you guys can be left alone? Well, yeah. What do you think happened? Where were all the Jews for 2000 years? We got all the sabbaticals you owed us. Uh and welcome back now, and thank you so much for planting us again. We kind of missed you when you were away. Oh, thanks. Wow. Wow. What awesome parashat behar and bechukotai. I didn't know plants were thought of so seriously in the Torah. Oh, yeah. Well, thanks for listening, and I, I gotta go. The, you know, there, there's other, other things to do, fruits to grow. So, have a Shabbat Shalom. Shabbat Shalom, Shri, thank you for coming and teaching us. Shabbat Shalom, friends.